This thing is so big it won't even fit in frame. I can't get it in the picture. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today, out here with my good buddy Billy Bates, and it's finally time for the Mega A-Rig Challenge. So, when was that? Like three weeks ago when we were out on uh, Big Fish Lake? Yeah. When you brought it? Maybe a month? Yeah, maybe a month ago. What happened the night before? You like put this thing together on a regular A-Rig joking around or were you serious about it? I just realized I had six or seven hut, like six inch Huddlestons and I was like, damn. I think I saw some video somebody was throwing an A-Rig recently and it made me think, like, dang, I should put those huts on an A-Rig. But the A-Rig I had was not obviously built for six Huddlestons so, or five Huddlestons. Definitely on the smaller side, but we were still surprised that day. I mean, you threw it around quite a bit, you got bit on it, but one, the bait didn't get tangled uh, nearly as much as we thought. Actually, I don't even think you got it tangled once, I think I maybe once issues. or twice. I have less issues with these huds than I have with like a Titec or something. Yeah, they it's just, like- They just stay separated. They're often. so heavy, I feel like, that they, yeah, stay separated. And like when you thumb your line, they lay out straight against the line. Yeah. Like when you're musky fishing or something with a really long bait, when you thumb it, it'll make it stand straight out, but. I agree. Gonna show you guys these crazy A-Rigs we have set up. Billy, how did you meet, or how, like, did you just find Musky Mitch so, on Instagram? My friend Matt, uh, I don't remember exactly how it came up, but I was telling him I was looking for some big A-Rigs, uh, and he actually had one of these from, from this guy, Musky Mitch, on Instagram. And uh, so I hit him up directly, and I was just like, do you have any more? And he's like, I can make you some. Uh, like a week later, he had made like three of them for us, sent them, sent them in the mail. But he, he makes them for Huddlestons and bigger some swim baits specifically. So they have like the heavier wire and stuff like that. But I, uh, it was totally random that my friend Matt knew about them. So it was perfect. Check these things out. It's like a glide bait head. And then you have an Alabama rig with really thick gauge wire, big swivels, big snaps, five, uh, Huddleston 68s. I went with four weedless on the outside and one exposed hook there in the middle. I did that just to try to keep it a little bit weedless. I have fished this actually. I was trying to film a video like a week ago with it. Um, I fished it for like four hours. Didn't get bit, but I also didn't really get it stuck too much either. I'm fishing it on a pretty beefy setup. Um, Billy graciously is letting me use this iRod Genesis 2 and this is rated up to 12 ounces which is I think one ounce more or rated one ounce more than what this Mega A rig actually weighs I think it's 11 ounces total I'm going with 80 pound braid to the Tranks 300 it's like my musky setup and I just got this DRT varial handle some guy like talked me into getting it. I actually got two of them. <laughs> what is your setup for this Mega A rig, dude? Um, I don't. I just switched to a glide bait for a second, but I'm throwing it on the uh, Dobbins 867 Mag, which is generously rated up to 16 ounces. But I really don't think anything over like nine or ten is. You're kind of pushing it. The new Corrado 300 and also DRT handle. That guy must have talked to you too. Same guy, salesman of the year. She gets sponsorships. Well, we have like four or five hours out here today. Really gonna stick with throwing the Mega A-Rig around a ton. Um, I've also got a finesse rod around because I know that we're gonna see a ton of fish on the graph. Might try to drop shot or silver buddy a couple up just so there's some fish in this video, but Mega A-Rig challenge, let's go. Did we miss anything? Hmm? Went over the setups, musky Mitch the huds I think we're good I can definitely say this rod feels a lot better than my musky rod did I mean that's yeah. only rated up to six ounces this one's literally double but yeah that's a that's a pretty beefy rod this I mean, it's what beefy is it, like eight and a half feet uh eight six yeah, yeah that's a big, pretty I got that one of the earlier rods I got for throwing the best bet is probably just let this thing sink to the bottom and kind of creep it I totally agree Check this thing out. This looks Dude, so it looks good. So good. It's cool. Like the wires 
they look like they're closed up too much like when you pull out of the water yeah but it's like in the water it looks water, great it like opens back up we're gonna troll around and look for some bait and fish i'm gonna troll this a rig a ton of birds down this way towards the dam deeper water i'm gonna go check it out oh yeah they're definitely dive bombing yeah look at that big old fish just wait please don't get stuck at the dam how fast are you falling? All right, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll give you about the. <clears throat> Probably fish feeding down there, just going crazy. Did that get to the bottom already? Whoa. That stopped. Dude, that's weird. I like landed it on top of a muskie. This is the end of my line, but I, I can drag it. So you're good. All right, let me turn this out so we can get a good line on it. We came through a lot of fish there. Trying the long lining game. I actually really like your theory on this. It makes a lot of sense. Terrible cast. Really got to lot it. Yeah. It's like the best way to do it. Oh, I don't know what that was. Maybe I was coming through grass. Oh, you know what? Probably a bald bait. I was like, let me meet it, let me meet it. Got me excited. Oh, dude. Oh, what? Dude, you had a fish. That was a fish. 100% a fish. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing else I would have just been running over like that. No way. And bent the hook out. You have one, bud. I do too. I'm gonna call it a bite. I just don't see any teeth marks. That's what's making me question it. He might have had the whole thing in his. You know, I was feeling him chewing on this. Yeah. Cause I haven't gotten this thing stuck. Yeah, just spit it. Maybe you hit his, hit his lip on the way out when you set the hook. Bent the hook. Yeah. <laughs> bent the hook pretty good. There's a lot of fish around. See, that felt like a bite again. Oh, maybe it's bait. See my rod tip? So weird. It's like, it's responsive. It's not just like pulling through something. It, it, it's getting like jerked down. Yeah. Unless it's a musky. I don't know if it's going to happen today, but there will be a day that they're going to eat this thing. I think we just need some wind. It wouldn't hurt. This feels like throwing a drop shot kind of deal. All right, well, attempt number one for the Mega A-Rig didn't exactly go as planned. I think I had one bite, bent that hook out pretty good. But other than that, we did not catch fish all day. We threw a little bit of silver buddy, a little bit of drop shot. Saw a ridiculous amount of fish on the graph. Most of them in like 20 feet and the most bait I may have ever seen in my life. It was insane. But Billy's gotta go pick up his daughter. I gotta run home to edit some videos. And if you guys wanna see us get out and try to make this actually happen, leave a comment down below and a thumbs up for us. We'll get back out for uh, round two. I'm not giving up. Mega A-Rig. Never surrender. <laughs>